Welcome back to my Upwork series. If you are new to Upwork, you might see these two types of jobs, hourly and fixed price job. But what do they mean? Which one should you choose? And how do you track your time and get paid as a virtual assistant on Upwork? And in today's video, I will explain everything in a very simple word. Then I'll head over to my laptop and show you how to track your time if you get an hourly job and also show you what a fixed price job looks like. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. <music> What is an hourly job? An hourly job means you get paid for every hour you work. For example, if your rate is $10 per hour and you work 5 hours, you earn $50. Upwork has a time tracker that records your work, so you don't need to worry about you know, tracking your hours. There is a way the tracker works, and I will show you when we head over to my laptop you get. Now, what is a fixed price job? A fixed price job means that a client pays you a set amount for the whole project. So, for example, a client might be like, you know what, I want you to actually help me design a website, and I'll give you $200. So that is a fixed price job you get. But the problem about fixed price job is that if the job takes longer than expected, you might work extra hours without any extra pay. That is why beginners should be careful with fixed price jobs. Now that you understand the difference, let me show you how to track your time using Upwork Time Tracker for hourly job and also show you what a fixed price job looks like. On Upwork, this is what a typical fixed price job looks like. This person is ready to pay $500. It might actually be for a full-time job or a part-time job. You never can tell until you know you have an interview with a client and the client you know inform you of how many hours you're going to work for them per week and per month so whenever you want to apply to this type of job upwork is going to ask you how do you want to get paid because this is a fixed price job that you do not need any tracker for so basically when you click on apply now Upwork is going to ask you how do you want to be paid is it by milestone or by project by milestone means that you want let's say you want to collect the initial deposit first let's say three hundred dollars and at the end of the month you pay two hundred dollars they'll pay the remaining two hundred dollars you get but most companies might not really trust newbies like that so the majority of us will choose buy project which means at the end of each work like at the end of each month you get paid or five hundred dollars so when you get paid up will charge ten percent service charge and you get four fifty dollars at the end of the month do you get that is how fixed price job works but one thing about fixed price job is that your client needs to approve the payment before pop will now have the money you know accessible to you so now let's head over to hourly job this is what an hourly job looks like on upwork which means this person is ready to pay between five dollars to ten dollars per hour which means that if you work for this person for five hours per day let's assume you bid that person seven dollars or ten dollars you get which means you will get paid $50 at the end of the five hours of a thing you get. So now another thing about um, um, hourly job is that, let's say you want to apply, let me just show you so that you, know, you can get what I'm saying. When you click on apply now, and you come here, Upwork is going to ask you, what is the rate you would like to bid for this job? So you want to work according to the client's budget, the client is ready to pay between $5 to $10 per hour. So you can actually choose $10 or choose $8, whatever. But at the end of every hour, Upwork is charging 10%, which means if you charge this client $10, you get paid $9 at the end of every hour. So now, one thing about the hourly job and how you track it is that you need to accept the offer first, which means the clients have agreed to work with you. They've sent you an offer. So once you get that job, the next thing you want to do is to come and download your Upwork tracker and how do you do that? You just need to just do what just scroll down to the very bottom at the home page. Scroll down and you see this desktop app. Once you get to this desktop app, just click on it or you can open link in new tab. Now this is what you are going to see. Just select your version, the type of laptop you use. Most laptops actually use Windows 64, whatever your own is using, and click on download. Once you download it, you know now, you're just going to click on it and install it on your laptop. And this is what it looks like when you do what, when you downloaded it and then install it. So typically this is how mine looks like. So you're going to see a list of your own or, or the list of clients you're working on or you're working for on an hourly basis you get so whenever you want to work for the client all you have to do is just to own your tracker so once you own your tracker you can start working start doing whatever you want to do whenever you have a break or you want to go for a break just off it you don't use your tracker when you are not doing anything for your client do you get so one thing this tracker does is that it screenshots your screen every 10 10 minutes which means if you work for one hour the time tracker will screenshot 
your laptop 10 times per hour and that is how it calculates and also calculates your activities and how can your clients even see your activities and how can you even see your activities it is by you clicking on the view work diary so i'm going to be clicking on this view work diary to see how this thing works so this is the work diary this is what it looks like it's already showing that i work for eight hours 50 minutes on this date and these are all the screenshots that this thing did so for the sake of this class let's just use this one let's open this one up so now it's going to show your clients your activities level remember i said it screenshot your laptop every 10 10 minutes and it's going to show how active you are in each 10 minutes so this one is showing <clears throat> sorry this one is showing that you are active seven minutes out of 10 minutes like i have active seven out of 10 minutes and what this does is that it's going to calculate the time that you press your keyboard, how many times you press your keyboard, the time you um, actually scroll your mouse, all these things is going to be there. Now, the moment you are working and you are tracking your time, you can actually see how much you've earned by coming to your manage finance and click on financial overview. You get so this is actually the amount you know you've worked so far or you've earned so far. So every Monday, Upwork is going to deduct this amount from your client's card and put this for you in, in review. This is going to be there till the next Monday. Then from Monday, it comes here to the next Wednesday. Then after Wednesday, the money will be accessible for you to withdraw, which means any money that is here, 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 you cannot withdraw it. The only one you can withdraw is the one that is available for your withdrawal, which is the next two weeks for newbies. If you are an expert already, your money is only available to you the following week, not all these long days you get. And it's going to show you the last payment you withdraw on Upwork as well. So basically, that is how the tracker works for an hourly job. Now that you know both job types, let's talk about which one is better for beginners. Let's talk about hourly jobs. Why is it better? Number one, you get paid every hour as you work. Upwork track your time so there are no payment issues. You don't have to guess how long a job will take. The tracker will do everything for you. The tracker will screenshot everything as an evidence that, yes, these are the hours you used to work on a particular one. So when starting, I want you to charge at least minimum of $5 per hour to gain experience. So as you improve, you can actually increase your rate. $5, don't go below that. And if a client is willing to pay more, please charge more. Just stay in between. Now, fixed price jobs, they are actually okay. But as a beginner, you should be very careful. Do you know why? If a client add more work, you might work extra without any extra pay. If the client is not happy, they might ask for a refund. Exactly. And Upwork will support them, like likely support them. So if you accept a fixed price job, make sure that the job details are clear. You agree on changes and extra work before starting. And you calculate how much time the job will take before setting a price. So if you want to try fixed price jobs, here is my advice. For part-time work, let's assume someone wants to hire you as their virtual assistant and say, you have to work for me part-time, 4 hours a day, then 20 hours um, a week. Charge between $400 to $500 per month. If it's a full-time work, charge between $800 to $1,200 per month. This way, you are not working too much for too little pay. So once you gain more experience, you know, you just, you know, increase your rate. Exactly. So I want you to be very careful when you are choosing hourly rates or fixed price job. In my next video, I'll show you how to get jobs fast on Upwork if you are struggling to get your first job and I'm sure you don't want to miss this. And why won't you miss it is by hitting the notification bell so that when I drop the video, you'll be among the first to actually know you get. So if you find this video helpful, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips on freelancing and Upwork. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. You're welcome, darling. Bye-bye.